When it comes to money, a lot of people say they just don't get it. Financial literacy is low across all groups, according to a recent study, but there are easy ways to get up to speed. So three on your side, Susan Campbell is here to explain. There's really nothing more important. Yeah, absolutely. Financial experts and economists who study this say it is extremely concerning on a survey that covers questions about several topics, including earning, saving, borrowing and ensuring people got bad scores across generations. The results show Gen Z on the low end, only answering 43% of the questions correctly on the high end, but not much better. Baby boomers scored 55% when it comes to financial literacy. The rest of the generations were in between. Overall, 39% of people said the pandemic made them want to learn more about money. So here's a crash course. When it comes to financial literacy, the definition is really simple. It's understanding the tools that are at your disposal to give your family a better life in the future. I really think it starts at the dinner table. It's you talking to your kids about that lunch money. It's you talking to your kids about why you wanna save, opening an account for them at the bank, helping them figure out how these things work. Jake Gutman is a financial services certified professional and the founder of Rosevest Financial here in Phoenix. He says one of the first things to do to get more comfortable with money is create a budget. I'm not saying that getting rid of a Starbucks latte twice a week is going to make you a millionaire because it's not. I don't like that adage. But what I am saying is that if we don't have a firm grasp on what comes in and goes out, if we don't spend what's left after saving, we're going to continue to have the same issues. Things are going to end up on credit cards. Things are going to be end up with debt cycles. This year, the governor announced $2.7 million for financial literacy training for 90,000 Arizona students. There is also a statewide financial literacy task force whose goal is to help bring financial education resources to Arizonans, both young and old. But this is a challenge and something that, like you mentioned, we all have to talk about. We all have to right. know about. You're kind of your financial situation is your own little business. You better be a good manager of it. But I don't remember, I don't know what school is like today, but back in school, I never learned anything. There are classes here and there, but yeah. it's not broadly across yeah. the country. So that's why you see kind of these piecemeal things and people encouraging families to have the conversations at the dinner yeah. table if they're not getting that in class. Good idea, Susan, thank you.